Hi, this is Pete with Horizon Hobbies product support team. Here's a quick video and demonstration on how to complete the firmware upgrade on your Spectrum DX6E through DX20 line of transmitters. DX8 is uh, listed and registered and we'll see on the right here we have the options to deregister it, report an issue with it, update the nickname of it which is this right here, Pete's DX8, and then we have the option to download updates. We'll click on this and uh, it shows all the available updates for our transmitter. Uh, so in uh, conjunction with the download, the firmware update itself, it does recommend that we uh, uh, download and install the transmitter sounds along with it. So we'll go ahead and click download and uh, there's our file uh, downloading here on the left and then we already have uh, our sound files but we'll go ahead and click there and we'll select English for the United States and we'll start downloading our uh, uh, sound update as well. So once that's finished we can uh, show you how to utilize these files that we've just downloaded. All right, so once we've downloaded our firmware update and our audio file update, uh, we would need to browse to them. Uh, so usually it would be in your default download location for your browser. Uh, for me personally, it's in my downloads directory. Uh, so we would need to browse. We can click on my computer, uh, depending on what version you have. It might be this PC, or you can go to a file browser. But we'll just go ahead and open uh, this PC, and uh, we'll go to downloads. Okay, and then here are, are the two files that we just downloaded. So we would need to get these onto the SD card. There's a lot of different ways you can do it. You can select them both and drag and drop them to the SD card, just like that. Uh, we can select copy and paste into that, uh, you know, whichever way you need to get it in there. Uh, uh, you can even open a, a separate window uh, and then you can just grab them both and drag them over to SD card or whatever you'd like to do. Uh, so now we can just double check that they are there. Yep, there's all three files, our uh, serial number, our audio file update, and our firmware update. So now that they're all on the SD card, we can eject the SD card and uh, we can put them back into the transmitter. The very last step to uh, upgrading the firmware on your transmitter is taking your SD card that has all of your uh, firmware and audio files on it. We're going to throw it right into the transmitter and we're going to power up. And this is really it. You just let the uh, transmitter do its job. You'll see the progress bar going back and forth uh, while it installs the update and the audio files. Um, yeah, so you'll see lots of lights and flashes. It'll probably power off and power back on once or twice. Uh, and once that process completes, you'll be ready to go and you'll be able to check the version in the corner of the transmitter once it powers back up and you'll be able to verify that that firmware has been completed. This will give you a good idea of, you know, how long it actually does take for that firmware to upgrade because it does take a few moments. All right, 2.0 firmware in the top right corner there, as you saw, the firmware update is complete.